Hey everyone, I wanted to make a tutorial today to create a material in Blender that would have a grainy, textured, illustrated look. Somewhere like DKNG Studio makes posters like this for concerts and different things and they have this nice grainy texture to them and I wanted to see if we could create it in Blender using the Eevee Engine with this uh, illustrated look. If you go on somewhere like Dribble and put in texture or grain or something like that you'll see a lot of illustrations with this look to them. And I wanted to make something that people could use for motion graphics in uh, 3D space so that you could use cameras and potentially put other objects in there and set it up how you want and it would interact with the light source in Blender. So let's go over to Blender and get into the tutorial. Here we have Blender 2.8. I'm going to start with the default cube, switch into front perspective. Now I'll go to the rendered mode in the Eevee engine. Delete that cube and add a sphere. Set the shading to smooth. and open up the material editor. Add a new material, get rid of the principled shader, and we'll set up a basic tune shader. Adding the diffuse node, the shader to RGB node, color ramp, and an emission shader. This gives us our basic tune shader with black and white values, as you can see there. You can get a gradient. Uh, we can either get really sharp line or uh, a gradation there that is affected by the light source. As I move it around, you can see how it reacts to the light. And now we'll start adding a few more nodes to get this uh, grainy textured effect on our material. First you use a uh, Veroni texture and you put it into the color on the diffuse node and as you can see that creates these little black dots uh, on the shaded side of our sphere. We scale that way up. Uh, you can go ahead and just set it to a thousand if you like to get uh, a really grainy uh, small particle look. And if you like that uh, if that's all you want, that's great. Uh, it will react to light, as I've shown you here. But I wanted to have a little more control over my shader, and so I'm going to set up a few more nodes that will uh, make it so that we can have a highlight on the light side with no grain in it. We'll add a separate X, Y, and Z. Add another color ramp. And that affects the grain, as you can see. Uh, the amount of grain that we have, which we want to keep as black and white values, that first ramp will be used for color later. We we'll add the mix shader, and then. And then another color ramp up here that will be used to control that untextured highlight. Plug that into our mix shader. Add a texture coordinate and use generated. Uh, and as you can see, now we have this. Uh, this control over, uh, we can create a white highlight. And quickly I'm going to add some color so we can see what this will look like a little better. 
as you can see I'm using that first color ramp for using uh, defining the colors in the highlight and shaded area and then that second ramp is used for where the grain appears in relation to the light to play around with these values sometimes to get them just where you want. Now we're going to jump back here and fix this uh, this highlight. And that's what we want is the object uh, on the texture coordinate. So now we only have that small highlight on the back and if you go into the shader and I, I tend to use area lights they tend to f affect the texture better but you can see what it would look like with a spotlight and other lights uh, you can play around with that and see what gets the best result for the scene you're working on I'll switch back to an area light for now go back in and adjust my value slightly bring up that gray and now we have our texture showing up around the edges with the highlight in the middle with no texture on it and that is our grain shader. And again, you can play with those values and get it to be affected by the light in different ways. And here is what that material looks like applied to some objects in a scene. I made these leaves and added in some motion with some bezier curves. And as you can see, you can go around uh, the, the object here in Blender and you can turn on overlays here and see how I have some of the lighting set up. I used uh, area lights as I mentioned before and you can move these around to affect the lighting. If I move it on kind of the x-axis you can see how the grain interacts with the, the light source here. And here is the final result. It looks a little different when you render it out. Uh, the viewport this looks a little chunkier with the grain and it looks more refined here. I'm sure you can do more with this and apply it to all kinds of objects and use all kinds of lighting to make really interesting scenes that would appeal to uh, potential clients or people in the motion graphics industry. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to making more tutorials soon. I hope you subscribe and stay tuned to what I have coming. Thank you very much.